What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for joining us once again on 505 Live. I am Jeff Klepper, and of course, always beside of me is Prince Malik. Malik, how you doing today? I'm doing good. I know you're doing good after yesterday uh, here in Vol Nation, right? Yeah, uh-huh. well, we won't go there. Um, but what about the action we've seen lately? Well, you know what? You had Hazard Fest, so you had all those folks there from all around here. All the, They come from everywhere to come to these things. You know, Absolutely, so. and don't forget that here at School of Morton, we have a new champion in Movie Mike. Yeah, what would you think about it? And yeah, well, I got a lot of questions to ask you about that, Mr. Klepper. I, uh, anyway. Money talks, that's all I can say, pal. I guess so, I guess so. All right, you so. Like that little thing you do? We are going to get started here with... The Dooleys, I do believe. Oh, the new and improved. The Dooleys. new and improved. That's is that right. what you call them? Oh, they love them. They're the the cheating Hazard and, and mistreating. They've, they've always been cheating. So, I mean, they're just a little bit more. Uh, Have improved. you seen the way they treat Betsy? I haven't seen Betsy in a long time, actually. Well. I've seen the box and I've, I've seen the feathers. And Well, we hope there's not a they person in the box, it, you know? but, you know. Wait a minute. What have we got here? We re of course we recognize the music. You do. Hmm. Is that? I don't know what we're gonna have here at Five Hundred Five Global. Look at this guy. Wait a minute. Man. This guy. This isn't his TV show. This is. Hey. How you? How Ladies are you? and gentlemen, please welcome the ringside area from the hit show Moonshiners. John Boy! How you doing, Mr. John Boy? Man, I'm fighting a frog hair split four ways. What do you say? Well, we want to welcome you to School of Morton. We're glad you can be with us, sir. Do you have anything to say to the School of Morton people? Oh, yeah, man. I just cannot believe I'm standing here. It's kind of like a Hall of Fame of wrestling. School of Morton, Ricky Morton, Rock and Roll Express. This is awesome. Totally awesome. Yesterday, I there believe you go. were at the Dingle Bucks. Hazard Fest. Tell us a little bit about how that went. Oh, wow. Well, Hazard Fest is totally awesome. Had all kinds of good wrestlers, moonshiners, Dukes of Hazard. Man, I got to be a part of a little bit of this stuff, and it was so fun. Well, we're absolutely glad that you wanted to be here at School of Morton. And all these fans here were glad to see you. So what would you like to say to all of them? Hey, thank you all for coming out, and you know what? I'm here for another reason. Uh-oh, what's that? I saw what the Dooley's done to my boys for Viva Los Amos, and I'm a big Viva Los Amos fan. Look here, Amish World Order right here. Well, I actually assumed you would be a Dooley fan, to be honest with you. They've always touted the moonshine, so. Hey, real moonshiners don't treat people the way they did them. We're very good people. We don't do that stuff. Oh, well, speaking of which, it looks like they're going to make their presence known. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome out the newly. Coonpecker. I think that's popcorn sucking stuff. I style. think he needs to shut his mouth and learn what he's talking about before he opens it. Man, I don't want to start no trouble. I'm just here to support my boys. The adults are talking. The adults are talking. But you know what? I'm tired of talking. Oh, oh man. Woo. Popcorn Get out of here. Make it leave. Hey. Go ahead. Popcorn. Make it leave. Hey, wait. Yeah. Yeah. 
just spit on his head. Hey, Rock and Roll. It's been a while since we did our last commercial season. I want to congratulate you both on being inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame. Thank you, Chad, and we are grateful to our friends and fans who helped us get there. If you want Hall of Fame, AC, or heating service, call our buddies at American Air Heating and Cooling today. Visit AmericanAirOnline.com for money saving rock and roll deals. Malik, what a despicable act by the Doolies. Bro, what just happened there? Why bro? would they come I mean, out and jump this man and, and, and the way that they did? He was a guest star. Well, I guess that was the welcome wagon here at SOM. A know? welcome wagon. My, well, I'll tell Sorry. you what. He said get to his boys out here, and I know he was talking about the Amish. The, the Dooleys, have got, they've got recompense to pay when it comes to the Amish. Well, I tell you what, he shouldn't have stuck his nose in somebody else's business, really, if you want to get to the heart of the matter here. So, welcome to SOM, I guess. That, that, that wasn't Popcorn Sutton. Popcorn Sutton's dead, right? No, that was not Popcorn Sutton. I thought Sutton. he was the original He was from the show hmm. Moonshiners on Discovery huh. Channel, and his name is John Boy. Wow. But speaking of new to SOM, we're going to get to see a couple of new guys here in just a moment. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Let's just put it that way, yeah. Yeah, so you know, SOM, we always have debuts here. And here's just another exception. And here's Hothead. Hothead left. Fans, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Hothead. It wasn't hot pants. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. You hear an echo? <coughs> I hear the the sweet sounds of the symphony. I don't know where that's coming from. Hmm. Wait, is that a wedding song? Oh. And no, here's a wedding head. song. I'm sorry, my bad. The Liberty Kid. Well, Malik is, is uh, the, this guy's new for well, sure. I mean, the, the music doesn't really like portray like enthusiasm so much. I but know, I mean, right? It's kind I of mean, a, he's waving the American flag and nobody, of course, everybody knows the veteran status that, that well, he I has carry, it on his so. pants too. I see it on, it's, it's on his pants and he just, hey. You're a veteran. You, I, I think you got kind of a little upset there, Mr. Klepper. Uh, yeah, a little bit. What happened to that flag there, my friend? I'm just saying. Well, we're going to see the debut oh, of That went over Hot like a turd Head with you, didn't it? <laughs> Hot Head Lev and Oh, he's got on a little the shirt. Liberty Kid. I'm not. I, I well, don't. he said he's hot-headed, man. He said he's, he gets he pissed is. off pretty quick. So we bet. I don't have anything to ring it with. Man, we need to fire that ring bell ringer. All right, All right so hot head Lev, like you said, wearing some hot pants, I guess. And half a shirt. Um, and half a shirt. I don't I don't know anything about these guys. I do know that um, that hot head Lev did train uh, at the Nightmare Factory. I do know that. So okay. um, Let's see what these two have to well, show us. I do know that there's a reason why he's called a hothead. Because well, he seems to lose his temper like uh, along the line. I'd that's, say so, yeah. That's something he's got to work on. But Now, some of the fans may have seen him yesterday because he was on the SOM show at uh, Hazard Fest. Yeah, I wonder if Hacksaw's uh, checking this out. You know, he, I don't he know, might, but the guy might. loves to say USA. 
That's in case you forget where you're at. Right. Chuck A. All right, he's got him now. He, Chuck A. Tennessee. Of course, we are in Chucky, Tennessee. Let's go, Morton. Looks like and he went to Party Central and got some uh, some streamers there on top of his head. It's like a well, stuck his head in a birthday cake or got stuck in a curtain somewhere at a strip club. This hot head, I'm, I'm intrigued to see. They both go to the same yeah, tailor and get their shirts. He's got him shirts. in a headlock now. Well, he shoots him off. Let's see who's going to. Oh, what a shoulder tackle there. And Liberty Kid hits the ropes. Going under. But he misses. And, oh, uh, what a God. forearm right to Hothead's face. Arm drag there by Hothead. But one of his own by Liberty Kid. We got a little back and forth going. And jumbling up the legs in a drop kick here. That's an ankle supreme. Some back and forth here by Hothead Lev and Liberty Kid. Oh, it looks like. All right, we've got Hothead. Oh, what a crossbody there by Liberty Kid. One. He only gets a one count out of it. Only one. But his wig appears to have fallen off. See, this is this is the hothead stuff I was telling you about. See, you got a now, little aggressive suplex here. Suplex there by hothead. One, two, what? Is it? See, done. Three. What a debut here at SOM. What a debut by hothead Lev. I'm impressed. I'm gonna have to talk to this young gentleman uh, here. Here Let's is see. your winner. Hothead we need something to ring the bell with. Okay. Yeah. Well, what a debut there by, by Hothead Lev. He wins with a, a suplex. Yeah, it's been a while quick, since we've yeah, seen that one. Quick work, so he must have really just Are you tired of offering the same old boring merchandise at your gimmick table? Well, you're in luck. Because we proudly present to you a revolution in independent wrestling marketing, the world's greatest toy, Slam Buddies. That's right, you can get your very own custom Slam Buddies. Bash them, throw them, slam them. Your fans won't just flip over Slam Buddies, they'll be doing springboard corkscrew 450 move salts. To find out how to make yourself into a custom Slam Buddy by visiting www.slambuddies.com today. Not a flying toy. Moonsaults, void where prohibited. Well, we want to thank our sponsors at Slam Buddies. And, of course, now, did you know you can get your own Referee Joe Slam Buddy? Yeah, that's what everybody needs. You can get your you own, get and he, chain, he right? even looks the direction of the ref, let me tell you. So it's all, it's all around. All around, Panoramic, yes. Right? You know how the ref has to have eyes everywhere. Well, he does. So, right. Referee Joe, if you want, I mean, any of the Slam Buddies and wrestlers out there, if you need anybody, uh, any merchandise, go ahead and contact them at Slam Buddies. They'll, they'll hook you right up. So, what about the debut by that? All right. So, we had two debuts. We had, we had two debuts. One was actually a little better than the other. So I'm impressed with Mr. Hothead. You like Mr. Hothead, but not maybe not too big on Liberty, are you? He might need to go take some steroids and go to the gym and, like, I don't know. All right. So definitely wasn't the Patriot. Is that what you're saying? The Patriot? The Patriot. you remember him? He's dead. Dale Wilkes? He's dead. Yeah, but he was a heck of an athlete, was he not? All right, fans, we just want to, uh, to say that we cannot wait for this next match. This next match is going to be between our hybrid champion, Koga, and the Pool Shark, which we all know cannot win a match fair and square. Hey, I think he can. I think that he just has his ways of doing things. And, you know, well, you can't say much. You're going around with the, with the champ there. So. Hey, 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 hey. I, like I said, like money, yeah, money talks, talks man. That's right. yeah. So he gets the job so, done, right? How many wins does he have here at SOM? Uh, well, as far as I remember, he's undefeated. Correct. So Scotch Adams is is a. Uh, it works. We can't wait to see him here, but but fans, I'm telling you, while we're while we're thinking about it, don't forget in October we have our Halloween event coming up, Ooh. and we've already got one of the biggest matches signed, which is of course the Dooley's 
versus the Amish. Well, they just had a nice little display earlier, didn't they? They Well, I don't like that display. They come out here and attacked an innocent man's what they did. And they spit on him. They spit on They his spit head. moonshine on a man that makes moonshine. And he just came up here to come to SOM and hang out and look at all the memorabilia here. And, and he's right. This exactly. Is a, this is a Hall of Fame, uh, like here in the Chucky Dome. Well, let's get to the ring because uh, I know you're not going to agree that that man didn't deserve what he got. Well, I know that Brushy Mountain is a, a moonshine place now and a museum. It is. How many people were locked up in Brushy Mountain for doing that? That's true. I'm kind of pissed off about that a little <laughs> bit, but, you know, whatever. That's just because you made yours, right? No, but I, I support it. <laughs> and the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing... The Pool Shark, Scotch Adam. Well, she see that he brought his, his, his cue balls out with him. You know he's going to use those because he's a cheater. Well, he's also made it to the pay window every time he's been here at SOM. So he's yet to been caught. Well, that pay window hasn't been blocked by Koga at that time either. Is this for the title? These guys got into it early here, uh, here at the back of the studio here. Uh, that was bef before they even knew they were on the docket. Did you know that? Uh, actually, I did not, but. Isn't it uh, weird the way the chips fall sometimes? Hey, I'm telling you, I wouldn't want to be across the ring from Mr. Well, Koga. You, you know how you, you settle things. You squash them, right? That is, that's that's yep. absolutely right. Yep. You get in the ring and you fight like men, and I believe that's what we're going to see right here is a fight between these two men. Well, they're definitely going to squash a couple of issues that I don't really know about. Maybe you do. I don't know anything about issues, but I know that Koga's a fighter. Well, one of the issues is you keep talking about these balls in his sack here. You well, know, he soft. needs the. I mean, Koga's it, called him out on it. That's what the deal that he was in the back. He Fair. asked. He said, "You're going to bring your little toys with you tonight." That's what he said. Well, Koga brings a little toy with him so, himself, so I mean. So the, that's what he asked him. If you're going to bring your staff with you, so the, here we are. So. Yeah, absolutely. And Koga not afraid to use that staff any more than or his Scotch legs. Adams will use. Or his, or those feet. See, right there, look at there. He blocked away that lockup with his, with his foot. Very educated feet of Koga. That's why he is our hybrid champion. Well, you have a background in martial arts, so you have to have a lot of respect for Koga's training. I, I know we both don't know so much about our pool shark here, but he's learned a lot somewhere from somebody. He so. absolutely has. Both of these men, though, are very, very talented in the but, ring. And but here's the thing, Mr. Klepper, when, you, when you're a, like a pool shark, it's a game of confidence, right? You don't need to know a lot about your opponent. That's that's actually how you win, right? Right. You think that they're like you. you they think you think they suck, or you don't know them, and here they get you. Right? But the thing you have to understand is it is the same way with martial arts. Most times you don't know your opponent until it's too late. So now, here we go. He's backing him up into the corner. Koga, the referee counting. Koga with a clean break. Look at that. Scotch Adams wouldn't do that. I'll tell you. Oh, oh he went that for that kick. Couldn't have been clean there for a second, right? He went for that roundhouse to the head, and that would have put the lights out of Scotch Adams, I'll tell you. 
Shows agility on both of the competitors here. I mean, if he wasn't able to get out of there, that is absolutely out, baby. true. That would have been the end of this one, absolutely. But Scotch Adams, knowing, I mean, like we said, a veteran of the ring, he gets out immediately, takes his time getting back in. Koga is saying, I know it's non-title. You got to wonder if he is able to defeat Koga, would that set up Scotch Adams for a hybrid championship show? Of course, of course it would. That would uh, oh, what a nice headlock takeover there by Koga. Koga, of course, able to wrestle as well as the martial arts with the submission wrestling and things that we've seen in the hybrid tournament. There he goes with a back to, with a crucifix, one, two, but he only gets a two count. He's right back on top of that headlock. Koga and, and Scotch Adams. Koga and, and, and Scotch Adams here just going, I mean, filling each other out pretty much right now. But Koga's got his number at the moment, but we've all seen. What a cartwheel there by Koga and a nice deep arm drag. Shades of the dragon himself. Well, you're familiar with, so with Kung Fu. Is that like a combination of all the martial arts together? Is that what Kung Fu means? Uh, Kung Fu was actually the style that was uh, brought over by, it was the American style by Bruce Lee. When it, as far as here in America, in China it's different. But he actually studies kickboxing. Now, uh, Gene LaBelle, to me, is like one of the pioneers in not only martial arts, but professional wrestling. Absolutely. Gene LaBelle, one of the best. Ah! What a thrust Jeez. kick there to the face. One, two, but he's not done yet. Gene Scott LaBelle Adams kicked uh, Bruce Lee's ass. You know that, right? Gene LaBelle was a bad man. I will flat out say that. Oh, gosh. You see that thrust right there? What a throat thrust there. Well, actually, I think it might have been more of a chest thrust. Yeah. It looked to be to the throat. Scotch Adams into the corner, and I'm telling you right now, he is in trouble. Those educated feet are working him over in the corner. The shark might want to get off the beach here for, and get up uh, on dry land here for a little bit and take a breather. Absolutely. Uh, Woo. Adams may want to take a break for a minute, but Koga not letting him. Koga setting him up for something. He's going oh, he's up to fly? the top. Is he going to do that split leg? He absolutely is. And the knees it, come up. Scotch Adams gets his knees up, and now he is on top of Koga. Obviously, a man to capitalize. He's punching his head. And he is just pounding down on his head. Now he's choking the man. One, two. We're getting a count by, by Joe. Joe, you got to get him off of that choke now. Scotch Adams took absolute advantage when he put those knees up on that, on that split-legged moonsault. And it has been all Adams from there, <coughs> working on that back. He's got him now in a headlock, and the ref checking. He's got to check to see if it's a choke, but at the same time, he's got to. Oh, ref, he's in his eyes. Come on now. One, two, the ref is counting, but he's got to get him out of his eyes. Adams raking the back of Koga. And then a nice, just a straight punch, man. You know, sometimes you just got to punch a man. Back elbow, uh -oh. vicious back go. elbow. One, two, but Koga out at two. Not quite ready to be done yet, but Scotch Adams, is he's staying on him. He is not letting Koga breathe at all. Uh, he's making a now We've seen a, a man get here. beat with the suplex a second ago. I don't think Koga's going to, but one, two, and he's out Almost. at two. He's fussing with the ref, saying that he's counting too slow, but I think the count was fine. Well, he needs to pay attention to his competitor. He absolutely needs to keep his eyes on Koga. Koga is not a man you want to take your eyes off of. Koga going under. Uh-oh. 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 A Russian leg sweep. And both men are down. At what cost, though, for Koga? Both men down for, for the count for the moment, but Koga is recovering. He's got it. Oh, there's one of those roundhouse ah. kicks to the chest. That'll cave your chest in, uh, Malik. You know that? Oh, it will. He gets up on top to, uh, are we going to see the 10 punch? One. Oh, it's 10 elbows. Look, this elbows. is innovative. Four, five, he's counting along with the crowd. 
But wait a minute. Oh! No! Too much, too much time. Too he much. took too much time between trying to entertain the crowd and Adams made him pay for it. Uh, Adams has a hard head too, so. Adams does have a hard head, and we also know. Oh! Shades of the old Bret Hart with that nice elbow. Oh, but man, Koga out. Again. Almost. Koga yeah. out at, 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 two, at two and and a quarter there, I would oh. say. Very close count. Well, we've seen a lot of wild things tonight so far here at SOM from the very beginning. I from, mean, from wow, the beginning. it's gone off the rails pretty quick. Yep, uh, uh, Adams getting him up for that, that, that corner pocket, but Koga fighting his way out of it. Oh, an atomic drop oh. there by Koga. You know what follows that? The ding ding. Ah. Another atomic drop, and you know that kick's coming. He ducks under, and there it is, that running roundhouse kick whoa, of his. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He drops him again, but Koga calling for him to get up. Again, a roundhouse oh, right to the face. Oh, man. Oh, and there's that spin kick. Koga is in the – he is in the moment right now. All he's got to do is capitalize, but he's Ooh. having to take time in the corner to rest. Getting rough. Uh, is he, are we going to see those double knees? No, just a single knee in the corner. And he's going to shoot him to the other corner. This Maybe it? this time was – oh, and he gets reversed. Up and over. Wait a minute. What is it? This is innovative. He's going for that. Oh, he drops him down. One, two. Oh, but Adams gets out at two and three quarters. That's about as close as it's going to get there, Malik. Hey, wait a minute. Where's he going? He's calling for it, but Adams going for his balls. It looks like he's grabbed his balls, so he's getting ready to hit him. Come on now, ref. You got to see this. Watch out, Koga. Oh, the ref. Hey, he were, that's it. The match is over. That's it. He hit him with his balls, and that will end the match. Oh, whoa. Here is your winner by disqualification, Koga. Well, Malik, he took a swing at Joe there, but I think Joe moved out of the way, so I don't think he took any of that shot. Well, Koga didn't but get Koga out of the way. Koga did not get out of the way, and, and he, does, he looks the worst for the wear after taking the, uh, Adam's balls right to the head. I mean. How many times you say that a day? Q, I'm telling you, with cue ball, have you ever been hit by a cue ball? On accident, and it was not Absolutely. Cool. It did not feel good. Flew off the table, and so, it, yeah. It, you Are you tired of offering the same okay. old boring merchandise at your gimmick table? Well, you're in luck. Because we proudly present to you a revolution in independent wrestling marketing, the world's greatest toy, Slam Buddies. That's right, you can get your very own custom Slam Buddy. Bash them, throw them, slam them. Your fans won't just flip over Slam Buddies. They'll be doing springboard corkscrew 450 move salts. To find out how to make yourself into a custom Slam Buddy by visiting www.slambuddies.com today. Not a flying toy. Moonsaults, boy, we're prohibited. Wait, uh, guys, I'm telling you, the, I know that Malik, you've bought some of those, and they are very durable, are they not? Oh, you see awesome, the commercial man. that they're, they're awesome. slamming them around. You know what? My little Malik, the the, uh, the fans got got a Malik, and they took him to Myrtle Beach. Yeah. He they got pictures of him all over the. He he went on vacation, and he's written all. They wrote all over him, and it, cool things. You know, it's neat how you can have connection with fans whenever they. Right. I don't know what they do with it. Well, later on today, somebody that we haven't seen just yet, later on today we're going to see an action. Condry is going to be an action. What a match. I mean, we've got. I was okay. uh, You don't want to see Condry? I think Condry is one of the great new ones that's coming around. I know what that is. But, of course, we know that music right off the bat. 
Kind of that, of course, forking crazy. is the, He's forking crazy. He is forking crazy, but this guy's just crazy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Brandon Moore. They are, he is one half of the SOM East Tennessee Tag Team. About this match, Malik Yellow versus Dirty. Of course, uh, they got a lot of history between these two guys. There is absolutely a lot of history here, and of course, just a couple of weeks ago, you noticed that they are one man short. If you remember, just a couple of weeks ago, they put the giant out of hey, the a lot of men short, buddy, out of the trap house. Just think about it. So now it's just the young pit bull and Dirty. That's the trap house right there. That's it. That is who the trap house is. Right, they kicked the giant out. Cowboys gone. Who Cowboys is? gone. Absolutely. Yeah, the rockets flown away. Uh, just a lot of trap house is really kind of gone to a different route. Now we're down to Dirty and Brandon Moore, but trust me, they are dangerous enough. Just oh, those yeah, two. And then, Here we go. The bell is rung and Yella and Dirty. Look at Brandon Moore over here. We, I think the ref needs to get rid of this guy. Lock up here. They're going to. Uh, I mean, uh, Yellow ain't even taking his shirt Yellow's off. Yellow's not taking his shirt off. I bet Dirty takes it off for him with those chops later on. But anyway, Brandon Moore is over here around us. He's telling you what to do. I wish he'd take his hind end back over there. Nice little reversal there by Dirty. Dirty, of course, with those with that that wrestling acumen that he has, showed us that when he won the hybrid championship in the tournament. But Yella is not one to be messed with, and he has been on a roll lately, especially. Well, he's got a, you know, like we talk about a lot of mentors around here. His is Boogie Woogie, and of course Ricky Morton too. He calls him Uncle Ricky. Absolutely. Uh, that's what he's all of our. He's, he's our. He is a crazy uncle. You know what? Ricky Morton, I mean, he's a crazy. So everybody here at SOM. Oh, no, oh, here comes Shades of Boogie. There he is with that yellow combo and the elbow Dang, right to the Boogie. head. I just called him Boogie. Yellow taking that shirt off. Brandon Moore, he's caught, trying to call timeout, but the refs got to tell him they ain't no timeout in They're wrestling, pal. Timeout. Probably not, huh? Yella trying to get him back in the ring. Joe trying to get him back. And back in the ring. Brandon Moore is is trying to, to fan him, him off of the ice. Cool him there. off of the, yeah. Dirty back in the corner, and Yella is, is backed off. The ref kept him back. So we're going to see what happens right here. Uh-oh. We're I going to that. a test of strength here with Dirty and Yella. Now, you got to wonder which one will win this. We're going to find out. It right seems here. like they're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe at the moment. So Yella see, getting that leg behind, though, and getting that momentum, that leverage. But Dirty is bridged up and coming back. Now he's coming back on Yella, and now, oh, wait a minute. Dirty just breaks the hold and goes into a regular arm lock, and Yella is – Showing his wrestling skill by reversing into an arm drag. Yellow's go. got pretty arm drags, I'll tell you that. 
Well, he tries not to waste any motion, you know, when he works. You Absolutely. Know Such a just fluid movement when Yella's in the ring. Of course, these fans love Yella and hate the trap house. Well, these guys used to be on the same side of the road, you know, but as time's gone. Oh, dir Dirty Daddy just knees him right in the gut. Takes away the technical everything and just puts a knee right in the man's abdomen twice. Three times there with that knee. You got to watch the pit bull over there in the corner. You never know what he's going to do. But Yella, or Dirty is choking Yella in the corner. The referee backing Dirty off, but... Oh, Yellow fighting back, though. And he puts puts Dirty. Oh, what a chop there. Now punch, punch, two punches to the head. Dirty is in trouble. Oh, but he cuts him off with that elbow. And a backbreaker. And that's why he's dirty right there. The young pit bull running his mouth at Yellow. Dirty going for the pin, one, two, and a kick out at two. It's a little close to the action too, isn't he? And absolutely, the camera, the cameraman over here, but I believe that, that Brandon Moore should be put to the back, but what do I know? Of course, we got the, the hold here. He's got him in a chin lock, got that arm held back. You know he is just stretching this man out. Yellow reaching for whatever, the ropes, the fans, whatever he can get. There's that double ear buster thing. Yeah, it's getting dirty is what it's, it's getting, getting dirty. It's getting dirty, it absolutely is. Oh, and just that straight stomp and then walking on the back and another straight stomp and walking on the back again. Stay on. That has to hurt Yella's back. That has to hurt. And then walking on it adds the insult to the injury. But now Dirty, he's done with the technical. He's just going to choke the man on the bottom rope. Joe oh, calling the man back. Come on, Joe. Brandon Moore's over there choking the man. And you're admonishing Dirty Daddy. Joe, the senior referee, needs to, needs to get in there and, and get Dirty off of him. Talks about how he was a little close to the action earlier. He has a little too close. Uh, he got him in that, in that cravat now. But you know, Yella, he is not he is not going to give up. I'm telling you now. Uh, just like as I say that, the man starts fighting. But what a snapmare into that drop kick! One, two, and Yella out at two. Still not enough. Yella will not quit. Brandon Moore walked past the camera and tried to say three. We know that wasn't true. Dirty with that knee, just that point of that knee right into his back. And again, walking on the man. No, he's, he's, oh, he jumps and splashes the man's back. Here we go with another one, two, and again, Yella out. Yella calling for the fans. I don't know how Yella's still in this game right now. Uh, Yella is fighting, that's for sure, but he has crawled his way to the ropes, but that's not a good place to be with dirty one, two, and of course, choking the man. And oh. Brandon Morrill, just a kick to the head. Kick to the face. When you're fighting the trap house, you're fighting the entire trap house, no matter who's on the inside of the ring, because they're a bunch of cheaters. I ain't no dang cheater. Suplex there, let's see if it beats this man. One, two, no, he kicked out two. Kicked out at two, kicked out at two. Yella is not gonna, he's not gonna give up. Matter of fact, he continues to fight back. But dirty with the just those punches, those those right feet, hands, though. right hands upside the the side of his head. Yellow's out of it. Brandon Moore needs to stay his hind end out of the ring. But listen at him making fun of the 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 agonizing Yella. Well, he needs to be putting him away. I mean that might backfire on you. He that needs, uh, absolutely might. He, he, Oh, Yellow fighting back with a punch to the gut. There's a double punch to the gut and a punch to the face. Hits the ropes. Oh, but Dirty puts him right back down with a clothesline. One, two, and again, Yellow out at two and a half. 
Yellow out at two and a half. Brandon Moore running his mouth about the referee again. Yeah, he hasn't stopped running Double his mouth. Double axe handle to here. the back. That's about all the trap house is good for is running their mouth and cheating. Oh, there's another one of those kicks He's to the back. Yellow. Just those laying in those kicks right into the back. Now he's just choking the man. Joe gets in there. Dirty calling for it with that back fist. Says he's going to knock him out. Dirty calling for that back fist. You know what happens if he hits it. A drop kick by Yella. Dirty puts Dirty in the corner. Oh, there's that yellow cut. That upper running uppercut. And then Dirty or Yella with a oh, flying man. clothesline. Yella. One, two, and Dirty gets out at two. That might have hey, been all that Yella had What's in doing him. Up here? Wait, Brandon Moore up on the apron. What the heck is he doing up on the apron? Joe, you got to get him down now. He is up on the apron. Shades of what happened every time we get in the ring with the, with these two. Wait a minute. What is uh, Dirty's got something. Dirty's got something in his hand, and he hits the back fist with whatever that was in his hand, and he goes for the pin. One, two, three. He wins the match. Here is your winner, Dirty Daddy. Yellow is knocked out. Yella is probably completely out of it. He got knocked out with whatever that was in Dirty's hand that he used with that back fist. Hey, Rock and Roll. It's been a while since we did our last commercial shoot. I want to congratulate you both on being inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame. Thank you, Chad, and we are grateful to our friends and fans who helped us get there. If you want Hall of Fame, AC, or heating service, Call our buddies at American Air Heating and Cooling today. Visit AmericanAirOnline.com for money saving rock and roll deals. Rock and roll deals are by American, A American Air that is one of Put our sponsors. Together, we Pepper. want to thank them for sponsoring us. Did you see that weird headbang by Ricky Morton at the end of that commercial? Everything's weird about Ricky Morton. Well, you know that's what? your opinion. I absolutely love the man, but. He's got the uh, oldest mullet on the world. Well, maybe Billy Ray Cyrus has got the other old mullet. Well, I think Ricky Morton's just a little bit older than Billy Ray Cyrus, but Turn you're probably right. Song. As a matter of fact, speaking of the Rock and Roll Express, did you see them defeat the Amish yesterday at Hazard Fest? And of then, of course, the, the ensuing – Audience just absolutely loved it, but they loved um, them at the Hazard Fest. You know what? You know who who else was there? Who else was there? Miss Heidi from Tool Time. Oh wait a minute, we're about to get oh yeah honored with a hey, guest a here. He's I, I believe you said Condry, he wasn't going to be here. Condry, I believe, is set for a fight here, but well, that's here he comes. He He's is. on his way to the ring. By God, weirdo. Okay. Hey, wait a minute, the Sultan. What? We haven't seen this man in a long time in the SOM. And the Sultan just comes out and tax Condry from behind. Somebody's got to do something about this. We, the Sultan just came out and popped him with that, that tennis racket. We have not seen hey, the Sultan in, in months. Well, hey, you know, there's only so much Malik, room. are you behind hey, this? Shut up for a minute. There's, there's only so much room for monsters here at SOM. And there's the original monster. That was Cornette's tennis racket right there. Country's been running roughhouse all over SOM for months. Now, oh, what a straight daddy. shot there meet by Meet Daddy. Well, welcome, by the welcome. Sultan. I, yeah. I just come on, yeah, Malik. Right. Did you? I, That's great. 
We That's know great. that you manage this man. Welcome to SOS. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, this is great. Not the flaming tennis racket. Oh, does he need a lighter? <laughs> He's using that lighter fluid. Yeah, We're not going to see this again. One. There you go. Burn his there We've you go. seen this tear many up. times in tear this company. It up, tear it up, tear it up. Oh, yeah. my God. He hit him with the flaming tennis racket. We've oh. got to get some help out here for this man. Get some help out here. We've got to get help. I the referees and the men are getting out here, the, some of the wrestlers from the back. The Sultan comes out and attacks Cousin Condra and hits him with that flaming tennis racket. I can't Welcome believe this. Malik. Welcome. Uh -huh. There you go. Malik, what? I ain't, <laughs> hey, I ain't saying nothing, man. Mal I'm going to check on the man. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't seen nothing.